Leo, this is your time, and this is why I'm sending this personal message, albeit a little bit brief, regarding the great solar eclipse of 21st August 2017. It's doubly great because it's falling in the sign of Leo right here. This is your sun sign. We see here that right now the sun is also returning to this position of Leo and this new moon on the nodal axis here indicates that it is thus an eclipse. Also, in the company of Mars, your best planet, by the way. So the eclipse is showing us the sheer power that's taking place for many of you born under Leo. I would say all of you. Um, depending on your birth date, uh, especially if you're in the latter uh, part of the Leo interval, then this is going to have more impact upon you. You can see here the powerful forces of Uranus and also Saturn coming from the spiritual triangles of your horoscope. Here we see the ninth house of your past karma bringing in abrupt, sudden, but mostly positive energy here due to the triangular nature of that aspect, the trine aspect. And again, Saturn, not a friendly planet, but at least it's giving you some constructive support here. The eclipse is surrounded by Venus and Mercury, which is retrograde at the time. So there's a lot of energy, a big, big, I'd call it a, um, an internal makeover. This is uh, interior design or redesign version 2.0, might we say, for those born under Leo under this eclipse. It is really a uh, complete and radical transformation. Now, you have to be receptive to that. If you're not, then the ramifications can be some awfully huge unconscious resistance to what's going on, especially because we see here in your seventh house of relationships, the house of the spouse, public relations, other people, generally the way you deal with others is going to be impacted upon very, very heavily by this combination. To the extent that you're conscious, you're aware, you're open, you're non-resistant, you become, as I call it, the Teflon man, nothing sticks, just let it slide, you won't have that resistance building up to this inevitable change in who you are, in how you present yourself to the world. Now some of this can come with great pain when you realise the errors of your character, we all have those errors. Um, those of you who are unconscious and resistance, resistant will fight that will want to justify the reason you can hold on to uh, patterns of behavior that aren't working for you in your relationships. Alternatively, those of you that are opening up and wanting to become conscious of that, this shutting off of the light of the sun, which is the light of your own sun sign, indicates a closing off, uh, an inability to be who you are or who you've been any longer. It's a coming to terms with your part in the great relationship problem of your life, which is the problem we all have. Relationship is the basic center point of karma. Dealing with other people, especially in marriage and long-term relationships. So that is where, for you, Leo, this is going to play out very, very significantly. So remain aware of that. There may be some issues surrounding your money with the second rule of Mercury retrograde during this period. That's um, also strangely visualizing this. This tells us that you mustn't identify your persona, your ego, your image with the money and the things you've acquired in life. And so pride precedeth the fall, as that old saying goes. Um, you have an opportunity here to humble yourself, to look at yourself in the proper light, or rather the absence of the light of this eclipse, and uh, really move forward in your development uh, and in your uh, life goals. Do look at the links I've placed here. Visit us there at astrology.com.au. I'll be back uh, next month, maybe even earlier if the mood takes me. Thanks for joining me. Take care now. Bye-bye.